Okay, I've just sent a tweet out. I've just sent a tweet out, which means I'm now live, which means I can't fuck this up because usually I would edit this out and I might do a little bit of editing, but l let me just explain what I'm doing here. So essentially, there's all this coronavirus stuff going on, perhaps you've noticed. Um, lots of people are stuck inside at the moment with not much to do, although actually I found myself more busy, surprisingly. But yeah, there are a lot of people inside and there are a lot of people without kids uh, who uh, are finding themselves bored or finding they need they need extra stuff. So I wanted to make some extra content, but it takes me a long time to edit um, and I knew I probably couldn't wouldn't have the time to do it. So I decided to do something I've always wanted to do is, is stream. I, I can't stream because I don't have the internet connection for it. I have less than a megabyte upload speed, so it's pretty much impossible. I'm a mile down a private lane. And so, you know, we've got shit copper cable going down that lane. So I thought, well, how can I get around this? Well, let's do a stream, but a fake stream. So essentially, I'm going to just play Football Manager for an hour. Um, and, and that would have been okay, but probably quite boring. So the thing, the, the thing about streams or the thing that makes streams more interesting is when people get in touch and people talk... Um, and talk on the chat and people respond um, and it's something that is quite a skill to, to, to do to actually live stream I think so it's probably going to be quite difficult for me to, to do this but essentially I've asked people to contact me via Twitter and then what I'll do is I'll try and reply to people as I'm playing the game so I'm going to have to try and keep my eye out on one thing and do another thing at the same time which is going to be hard because I can barely do either and now I'm already feeling a bit like this is where I would stop talking make an edit but that can't happen here i might do some edits as i mentioned but hopefully i'll be able to keep it mostly clean i'm not going to bother with any of the music or anything like this this not like that this time hopefully i can get maybe about three games in in the next hour or so so let's see how it goes oh i've got a message already oh no it's just a retweet it's just a retweet okay <laughs> i'll keep i'll keep my eye out if i don't get any messages this is going to be fun isn't it so first thing to do is probably to fill you in on where we're at so far so in the last film i'm just gonna have some beer mm. have some beer i've also got a banana here so you might see me eat a banana later which is which will be real real fun that'll probably be the highlight of this um so in the last episode we played milan and we lost let's look at the schedule here um we played milan and we lost 2-1 which meant we were knocked out of the champions league i was pretty upset about it um pretty annoyed in fact i didn't play fm for a few days um after that i was actually pissed off um like seriously pissed off uh and then I realised, because I got an email through, that actually that means that we've been put into the Europa League. So we've actually drawn Olympiacos um, in the Europa League, which is great. You know, still a chance of doing something in Europe. Um, it might not, it might not be the Champions League, but I think you know, if we could, if we could win the Europa League, I'm sure the board would be happy. Speaking of the board, let me just go uh, into this club vision thing. They now want. Uh, oh, hang on. Where are we? We failed the Champions League, obviously. The Europa League, they want us to reach the final minimum. That's <laughs> that's going to be a bit difficult, isn't it? Should we have a quick look at the Europa League, actually, while we're here? I don't need to worry about chopping any of this out. I've got all day. You can skip through this video if you like. Um, obviously, try not to, because there's a lot of interesting stuff here. But these are the teams that are in the Europa League. So we do have the likes of uh, Leon, who were quite difficult last season, RB Leipzig, we've got Olympiacos, we've drawn uh, Napoli, Celtic there, uh, Bournemouth, Roma, Chelsea, Valencia, Villarreal, oh dear. Um, yeah, couple of, couple of decent teams, Sevilla, Salzburg, Betis, there's some decent teams in there, Galatasaray, but you know, it's Potentially, it's winnable. There's a few teams we wouldn't want to meet 
at least until the final. But I think on our day, we could beat every single one of those teams. So, you know, fingers crossed we'll we'll do okay. I don't know if it says who the favourites are anyway. Seedings. Uh, yeah, well, we're one of the top seeds, I think. But, I don't, yeah, I don't know if it says who the... I don't know. This is where the stream thing comes in, isn't it? It's like, I don't know how to do it. I'm just going to move on. I'm just going to have to ignore when I don't know how to do something. Because usually I can just do an edit, cut it, move on. Can't do that this time. So, back to the, ske the schedule. And we'll have a look at some of the other stuff that we've done since then. So sorry to see you were fired on the next press of continue. <laughs> this is from FM Black Crow. So sorry to see you were fired on the next press of continue. Where next? Port Vale? Yeah, no, I'm not going to be going to Port Vale, Chris. Ever, hopefully. I just don't think I could do it. I couldn't go near Port Vale. It's too... Literally too close to home, but it's too... I don't know. It's like... It's, it's, your, it's your main rival, isn't it? I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. Even though I do think they'd be an interesting team to manage in FM for, for someone else, I just can't do it. I wouldn't touch them with your dick. Um, so, Joe Butterfield says, Hi Jim, love the series. Do you play any other saves outside of the one you play on your channel, or are you very much a one-save man? I'm usually a one-save man, Joe. Like, actually, every single iteration of FM so far, I'm a one-save man one safe man i do try though because when you're recording like this there's so much downtime between recording that you kind of um am i recording yes i have record jesus christ had a bit of a, had a bit of worry there there's so much downtime between uh between recording that you kind of want something to do and you feel like i've got to get to a certain point in the save so you know at the moment let's say i recorded a real madrid game the next game on the channel might be barcelona or sociedad or something like that so i've got to play through that much but as soon as i've played those games i can't play any further so sometimes there's a few days where i'm like i really want to play fm but i can't so I have tried setting up um, saves, and I've just got a new iPad, actually, and I've got FM Touch on there, so I'm going to have a play with that in the Korean League, actually. Um, but yeah, whenever I seem to set up a second save, I never tend to get going with it. I just like to manage one team, ideally. And it's crazy to think, you know, I'm only in the second season with Atleti at the moment, which is, you know, not very far. I mean, there are people probably in there like... God, I don't know, probably in their 10th season by now with FM20 or something, and um, I'm stuck in the in my second season still. But I like to take my time. And when I do play off-camera, I play on, like, the... What is it? Extended highlights? Is that the, the longest one other than full match, basically? Um, so, yeah. I do sometimes try other saves, but uh, it never, never really comes to anything. Um, so what's happened in La Liga? Okay. So we got knocked out of the Champions League. We played Espanyol. We won 3 0. And then we, we drew one all to Real Madrid. We've got Real. Oh, we're at this Super Copa, that's why. Um, yeah, we drew one all with Real Madrid. Let's have a look at these, actually. Um, Llorente Costa Parte scored there. Real Madrid. Oh, yeah, that was the one. I remember that now. Costa scored in the 88th minute. It was looking like we were going to lose. In fact, let's have a look at the. Yeah, 21 shots to 10. It was looking like we were going to lose. They were on top of us, and Costa saved us in the 88th minute, which is which is great. Um, and then we played Ibar 2-1. Getafe 1-1, which was a little bit disappointing. Probably should have been beating Getafe. And then, the other day, um, I had a spare half hour, and I thought, oh, I'll just play, just play a quick game of FM. <laughs> went online. Uh, sorry, went online. Uh, opened the game. Played Valencia, got battered four 0 and I mean battered. They were just on. They were just, they just conquered us. I don't even know what happened, um, but it was we just totally fell apart. And it's inexplicable because it was the first team. It was you know the best players and everything, and we just fell apart. So who knows what happened there? I mean, occasionally you have those kind of games, but. It's weird. I don't know why we'll have this run of wins and then suddenly we'll have a game and we'll. And we'll just lose like that. Yeah, it, it doesn't really make sense. Um, so in La Liga at the moment, we're fourth. Um, 
everybody yeah we, we don't have a game in hand or anything like that we're fourth on 35 points Sevilla up there on 40, 43 sorry 36 points we're on uh, but Barcelona and, and and Real in and around us there but Valencia and Sevilla both doing really well out out ahead there um so yeah so it's interesting at the moment after 18 games pretty interesting pretty interesting league so also what happened in that half hour where I got beaten 4-0 was I also did another stupid thing I think it's a stupid thing. I need to go in and have a look in a second. Um, but essentially what I did was... Uh, I wonder if I can find him in here. If he's Has he come back from loan yet? No, he hasn't come back from loan yet. Okay, so Nehuen Perez. So this is this really good central defender that we've got, this youngster who I sent out on loan. And I stupidly totally forgot the reason that I'd sent him out on loan, which is that our foreign player quota is already full. But I knew that we've got, we don't have very many central defenders. And for some reason, I just looked at this guy and thought, oh, we've got him. Maybe we should bring him back in. We can play him as, as a central defender because I want to want to play him in the future. Totally forgot that we'd already filled our foreign player quota. So I've recalled him. It's too late now. <laughs> he's, he's being recalled from the loan. And I just need him to come back and then just have a look at the situation and see whether we can actually fit him in anywhere. But actually, um, if we have a look at the squad, the registration, uh, yeah, we've got a maximum of three non-EU non players. And if I just have a look at this, it should say, not under general info. Well, we've got Felipe, uh, who is foreign, Kieran Trippier and Henan Lodi. Don't really, I, I can only have three. I don't really want to get rid of Henan Lodi. I love him. Left um, wing back, Kieran Trippier. Don't really want to get rid of him either. These these are my starting fullbacks essentially, or wing backs, Lodi and Trippier, and then the other one is Felipe, who is a rock, a solid rock. Now the issue I've got is he's thirty one years old. He's thirty one years old. He's rated at thirty one million. Do I try and just cash in for him? Do I try and sell him now while I can? We're just in a transfer window. It's just opened. Now it might disrupt the um and I'm, I'm i'm just thinking as i'm as i'm saying this i've already not got enough central defenders so selling one doesn't re doesn't really solve the problem um perhaps i should just put him on the bench i would love to play him though that's the thing so um yeah something i need to think about do i get rid of felipe well i can I mean, leave, leave a comment, let me know what you think. I could get rid of Felipe. I shouldn't really get rid of Felipe, should I? Why am I saying this? I'm crazy. I mean, I'm not getting rid of Jimenez. But I would love it. Jimenez. Imagine Jimenez. In fact, just have a look at Jimenez. Imagine Jimenez. Because state of him. 25 years old and he's like... Amazing. Really, really good player. So imagine Jimenez. And basically, um, this other guy, Perez... It's pretty much he's getting close to being. Remember, he's only twenty years old. Getting close to being almost as good as um, Felipe, anyway. In fact, yeah, he's not that far off Felipe. In t yeah, obviously, in t yeah, we're talking about uh, attributes here. In terms of his attributes, what other things has he got? Mark's opponent tightly. What traits has um, he got? None. No traits, but he is a wonder kid, and I think you know. In in two or three seasons' time, if he gets games, he could be... Well, he will be better than Felipe, I think. So the, so the question is, do I wait... To, I mean, I'm answering my own question here. I should probably wait till next season, shouldn't I? How much fucking time have I spent talking about this? This is the thing. I don't even know, like, how long I'm taking doing stuff. Let's, let's press continue. There's something else I meant to tell you, I'm sure, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, yeah, I know what it is. Because I've written it down and just had a look. There's a few key things that I want to tell you. Oh, here he comes. Perez is back. Let's just have a quick look at his report. Bullshit. Hmm. Maximum three, not yeah, so... So he's not eligible. I wonder if he's eligible in the um, in Europe, though. Or in the cup. He might be eligible in the cup or in Europe. And if he is, in fact, yeah, I'll have a look at that. Maybe I can register him um, 
for a different competition and, and play him in that. But as it is, I probably should... Let's have a quick look. I probably should... Whoa? Hang on. Huh? Huh? Nah. I thought it was... Isn't it like... Is he in anyway? Under 20. How many... EU players of the age 18 and younger do not have to be registered. Mm. So he does have to be... He does have to be registered. Oh, motherfucker. Okay, so, yeah, fuck that. So, basically, I've done a small fuck-up there. <laughs> uh, but I think what I'll do is probably just play him next season. Maybe this is this is Felipe's last season, basically. And I'll play him next season. Okay, let's just, let's just go with that. So, next up, the next thing that I wanted to discuss is... Where are we? Where, I don't even know where the foot... I never go in the medical centre, that's why I can't find it. Medical centre. Current injuries. Take a look at this. Fucking Jan Oblak has broken his finger. He's got between nine days and three weeks left to come back. Which means we've had to bring it in... Uh, our second choice goalkeeper, Antonio Adan. Antonio Adan. Um, he's still a good goalkeeper. You know, I'm not too not too worried about him being in there. The problem that I have is the same problem that I had with Perez, which is that... Uh, where's... I can do it this way. Uh, let's just... Oh, it was already, it was already ordered that way. Uh, which is that Axel Werner, who is our other... Goal, decent goalkeeper or our other okay goalkeeper um, is also counts as also counts as a foreign player so I can't register him which means we don't have a goalkeeper on the bench which could be very interesting couldn't it so yeah it looks like we've got a few suspensions for the next game as well which is going to be awkward so that's where where we stand at the moment um, it's looking it's 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 on the whole it's fairly positive. Costa also second highest goal scorer at the moment with ten goals, uh, only one off top spot. It's looking fairly positive at the moment. Let's press continue again. So today we're playing Real Madrid and it's not. I don't bother with any of that shit. It's not in the uh, in the Liga. It is in the Copa del Rey. I think no no Super Copa. It's in the Super Copa. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it's bad, isn't it? Um, Arias for Trippier. Jimenez for... Pau Torres for Felipe. I suppose we do need to rest people. Oh, fuck it. I'll just use that suggested squad for now. Then I'll go in and check that again later. Simeone recalls Madrileño, Madrileño Derby Spirit. Simeone probably shouldn't have been sacked for me, should he? It would be nice to get a win over Real Madrid, though, I must admit. Send assistant. A little insight into how I play FM here. Send assistant <laughs> all the time. Oh, fuck. Someone's replied. Um, got a gif of a knight doing a sort of dance from at armchair CM. What's that one reply to? Okay. Thank you. Uh, and then we've got Dan Gear here. Score prediction. Fake stream questions. So I'll just use use these questions. He's he's given me three different questions here, or four different questions here. So I could probably just use them at different points during the stream. Fake stream. Uh, score prediction is the first one. Score prediction for this game. Fuck me. I'd like to say something like two one to us. But I reckon, I reckon it could be a tough one, and we're coming off the back of a four-nil loss as well, so could be, could be dangerous, Dan. Um, he's got some other, <laughs> he's got some other questions. Might as well use the next one. How does he know that? <laughs> Hang on, no, I'm not. I've got him there. He said, "Why are you playing? Why are you playing him RM and not CM?" And he means Saul, I think. Um. In fact, you know what? Fuck you, Dan. I'm going to put Saul there. And then I'm going to put... This is going to fuck me up, in it? Should I do this just for the sake of 
yeah, for the sake of entertainment, I'm going to put Saul on the right. Saul can fucking play on the right. Look. Look at that. Midfielder, right. Accomplished. Natural. He's natural. Pref well, prefers to be on the right in a two-man pairing or on the right or middle in a three-man grouping. Okay, fine. So, But he doesn't mind being on the right wing either. And that's fine. Although he does, he is better in the middle. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to put him back. Go on then. I'm putting him back. For God's sake. Uh, and then also, why are you using this tactic? Hmm. Because it's the one I always use. In this save. And that's that. But you, it's made me question it now. Even though he hasn't even seen it. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to put Arias as a wing back in fact quite attacking but 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 that's fine and also shout out for Grass and Gear of course I'll do a shout out for Grass and Gear best FM podcast out there only FM podcast to have had me as a guest twice Um, and yeah Go check it out. If you haven't listened to Grass and Gear already, go and find them. Brilliant, brilliant, amazing podcast. Right. Submit team. Let's just go with that. Oh, shit. I didn't look at my subs. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Fucked up straight away. I've got... How many suspended players have I got on the bench? I can't have any because it would have told me, wouldn't it? No, it's okay. We're okay. I think. Yeah, we're okay. God damn it. That scared the shit out of me. Oh, hang on, I've got another tweet here. What's this? <laughs> okay, FM Heathen says, It will bring my memories of my dear old dad, a right ignorant git for two-thirds of his life. You'd ask him a question and get the answer from my mum in two days... Uh, you'd get the answer from my mum two days later. God bless him, happy days. <laughs> Yeah, so it is a bit like that, isn't it? Ask me a question. You're going to get it tomorrow. Right, hand to assistant. Can't be bothered. Oh, sh maybe I should say something. No, fuck it. Let's go. Right. Uh, send assistant. Let's go. Right, let me just check. I've got all this right. I don't want comprehensive. I'm going to just go for key just so I can get more matches in. It's a bit. It does worry me a little bit because I like to see more of the match. But maybe we're not going to want to see too much of this. Oh, not by the looks of this. Bail. Oh. Coke's got it. Saul. No. Nil nil. This is where I have to talk in between the uh, in between the highlights now. I don't normally do that. I normally just wait because I edit them all all of these bits out anyway. So, yeah. Oh, here we go. Ramos. To Isco. Oh, Correa, brilliant challenge. Costa, get it to him. Come on, Correa. Correa. Oh, he's hit the post. Motherfucker. Come on. Fairly even so far. I think we were getting battered in the last game at this point. Pau Torres to Costa. And Pau Torres is turning out all right, you know. I don't care what anybody says about him. I am I think he's going to be decent. He's not going to be first team, though, <laughs> having said that. But I think he's going to be a good good backup player. This is a worrying highlight. Here's Bale. Arias intercepts, and he's found Costa. Costa with a good ball to Morata. Morata's got plenty of men to beat there, though. And he has done the ball! <gasps> Did you see that? What a goal by Lamar. And it was great play by Morata. He splendid gentleman. My computer's going to struggle with this, I think. Recording for this long. I keep I don't know if you've noticed, but I keep stop I keep stopping the recording. You might not notice cuz I'll cut it all out. <clears throat> Check him. Just checking my tweets. Sorry. Hey, hey, that must be what it's like for streamers. You just forget you're supposed to be saying something. Um, Cruz Modric. Fuck off, Real. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, fuck off, Varan. Oh, fuck off, Varan. Fuck it, I don't want to see that highlight. I don't care. I get... I. This is another insight into how I play FM. I watch my highlights and I skip their highlights all the time. I just... It just infuriates me. Got a little bit too comfortable there and started started just playing like normal. Well, it should be playing like normal, really. Although key highlights... Oh, I don't like key highlights. It's just this. You just sit like this. For ages. Not much happening. 6-6, six, six, so fairly even in terms of shots. We're letting Madrid have the majority... Uh, round. Real Madrid have the majority of the possession there, which is kind of how Atleti play in real life, I guess. Um, not so much how we play, but we usually like to have possession, but yeah. We've had more shots now, so that's good. All I care about is the shots, really. Boom, half time. Yeah, not bad. Not not too bad. Uh, fairly even. Let's get on with it. Um, I'm going to do this team talk, actually, and I'm going to say time for everyone to dig in. I just didn't do anything. See if the assistant can help. No, we can't. Start the second half. So here we go. This is the Super Copa semi-final. I don't really care about the Super Copa, and I don't think the board do either, but it would, it would still be nice to get a trophy. I mean, I think the chances are if we do get through this, we'll probably play Barcelona in the final. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Isco, Modric. Tackle him. Tackle him. Bale. Arias. I'm surprised Bale's still at Real Madrid in real life. I mean, it's probably obviously because people can't afford his wages. Because people can't afford his wages. Um, but he shouldn't be there, should he? I feel like he's kind of wasted himself a little bit. He could have gone and been like a hero at another club, whereas they don't... Well, it seems they don't really like him there. I, just, I don't know why. It's just it's just a waste of a player, really. Could have played for Stoke. We would have had him. Hey, I'm not going to get that many, that many... I thought I was going to get three games in. I've been recording for half an hour already. I think. Ish. Got another tweet here, but I'll read it after this one. Lamar. What's happened there? Hey, what? 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 Red card review. He looks nervous. Oh, this would be nice. No, nothing. It's just a free kick. Which, nothing happened. That was confusing. I don't know what happened there. Here's Modric. Felipe clears. Oh, Cruz, I haven't been concentrating. I, I need to fucking concentrate here. Cruz scores. Fuck. I'm going to skip that. I don't want to see that. Oh, God, I should, I should keep it on for the sake of the stream. Fake stream. Hashtag face, fake stream. Face stream, I nearly said then. Cruz. Oh, Adan. You know, our black would have had that. Right, we need to do something here. Get creative. Is anybody having a terrible game? Lodi's not having a great one. Let's get him off. Partey? No. Um, <laughs> yeah, go on. Let's put Saul in the wrong in the wrong position. Saul there for Lodi, and then Lodi can come off for Iorente. Iorente. If anyone's going to win it for us, it's going to be Llorente. In fact, I'm just going to change him to attacking, even though he's not really an attacking player. Koke can just go to a support. So we're just gradually pushing forward a little bit there. Looks like we're going out of the Super Copper at this point. Nine shots to 11. In fact, let's go attacking. We've got to go for it here. We've got to go for it. Got to go for it. 
Come on, come on. Right, stop. Tactics. Extreme. Extreme maneuver. Let's bring Felix on. Do I go crazy? Yes, in fact. Let's fuck the wingers off. Let's just get Lamar. I can probably sit there. Yeah. Attack. Instead of a deep line four, let's have him as a false nine. And then Costa can go on attack. Felix is probably not best as a false nine, to be honest. In fact, let's do that. Mm, no, actually, maybe maybe we will stick with that. We'll stick with that. Um, and what? Saul. Oh, Saul needs to be like full back, really. Full back attack. Yeah, okay, let's go for that now and just see what we can do. I'm going to do something else. Uh, not that. I'm going to do... Over opposition defense, just to quickly take long kicks. Go for the long ball over the top from the goalkeeper. Five minutes, so there's still a chance something could happen. You know when it gets to 94 minutes, though, that that highlight, this highlight, that's going to come now, now, now. It, oh, they didn't even show it. Usually, I thought the last highlight is the final whistle being blown. But the final whistle was blown. And we got fucked. That's two losses in a row, which is not good for us, really. Fuck off, team. Fuck off, team. It's getting to the point where I'm going to have to quit before I'm sacked, isn't it? Uh, Post-match press conference. I don't want to go to that. I'm going to send the assistant. Um, Dan Gia has tweeted, Wow, what a goal. If only, Dan. If only. Yeah. So, let's continue. That's not good. That's really not good. This is the bit where in a real-life stream, I'd have to be filling this silence but this is the kind of bit that i might actually just chop out to get to the next game we've got a scouting report a scouting report for sporting let's have a quick look at it mm. analyst report i'm not bothered where is it scout report oh they've got a lot of weaknesses brilliant oh thank god um wow that is a lot of weaknesses um Oops, pressed it by accident. Let's have a look at their last match. They won it. 2-1. Um, sorry, it's just, I, I know I always go, I've done a lot about this heat map recently, but it is my kind of go-to thing. I like to look at the heat map, first of all, just to see what's going on. So, uh, it's not Levante. Ugh. Takes a while to process. Okay. Doesn't really tell me too much. Goalkeeper was busy. Um, what should we look at? Turn the heat map off because that's taking up processing power. Urgh, go away, go away, heat map. Okay, average position. With ball of sporting starting eleven. So you fit him not yeah, kind of not that not playing that high without ball. Mm, pretty pretty normal. I can't see that much interesting there. Where are their scoring chances coming from? Right in the centre. Um Pretty even in terms of what side their crosses are coming in from. A lot of crosses intercepted. Number 17. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Where's he playing then? Let's have a look. Playing on the left, and he's getting in the box. 
for look who it is. Mr. Martin Braithwaite, who now plays for Barcelona. I don't know how he's doing, actually. I haven't really seen seen much from him. Um, so, interesting. Chris Johnson says, who is your favourite? What? Well, who is? Who is? What is your favourite all-time save and player on Championship Manager, Football Manager? Fucking hell. Um... That's a difficult one. My memory is terrible for a start. Um, but actually, I, I don't need a good memory to remember my favourite save. My favourite ever save was last year. It was the Piacenza one. It, it actually was my favourite save. And I don't know if that's partially because of... There's something ad, There's something extra that making content gives you from playing a game, I find. Like... Um, I don't know, you almost become even, it's like an extra level of immersion for from playing the game, because you're kind of, you're almost thinking about the stories and everything like that, even more, thinking about the the narrative of the save, if you like, even more than you do just, just playing normally, so maybe that was part of it, but also, it was a, it was a brilliant, it was a brilliant save, you know, um, favourite player, again, I can't remember many names, um, let me have a think. Let's just see. Let's just see what this is. It's been agreed to transfer. We'll go through. Huh? Sell now. Oh yeah, fuck it. Sell now. I don't care. Hang on. What good? What's he worth? Hundred. Go on. You can fucking have him. Hundred fifty. Let's let's see if you want that. Um. Borja Valle proposals of his form form three blah 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 blah. Can only presume that's a Port Vale goal. Now Jim's moved moved clubs. Okay. Um. Yeah, favorite player. Now there were plenty of favorite players last year. And the year before, it's really hard to remember the the names. I honestly forget the names. It's like it's not it's not that it doesn't mean anything to to me as much, but it's I've always been. I love the game. I've always loved playing the game, but I don't have that same level of connection that people seem to have with like the names of these wonder kids that they like want to bum or whatever you know it's like oh there's this wonder kid and he was amazing and everybody knows the same name of the player and and do you know what i can't even remember any of them now but there are ones that are like you know in the things like in football manager folklore there's certain names that everybody knows i can't really that that doesn't happen to me i don't recall those names i don't think of those names i'm sure i've had contact with them at some point because i've been playing the game since like 94 95 96 something like that um but it's like it's never been something although it's been something I enjoy, it's never been something I've been obsessive about. I kind of I enjoy it. I, I play the game, I stop, and then I get on get on with my life. Um it's only really now since I've started recording that I'm a little bit more interested in that kind of stuff, or I'm a little bit more mindful of that stuff like I think about it and that and that's why probably I can remember some of the names more like in the um you know people like ZLLM and uh Landy and uh who else do I kind of remember the others uh Jacopo Silva players like that that I remember Jacopo Silva was incredible last season and it's like really got me fucking excited for Liberos as a as a role Libero as a role and um yeah, it's a shame to play this save and not be able to put a libero in. You have that tendency, don't you, to sort of when you move from one save to another, you want to do like the same formation or you want to you want to set similar things. But um, yeah, yeah, it's weird. It's a weird one. I don't really have that many favorite players. There are some. Like I can, I, I've got visions of, I've got feelings about a save and about a player in that save that I know was good. Like, I know I had a really good striker when I was at Palermo in, like, 
2000 or 2000 and I don't know what the fuck it would have been, 2008 or something like that. Um, but I can't remember his name. So, yeah, sorry. <laughs> That's about the best answer I can give to that. But I hope you know what I mean by that. It's it's weird because it's not, I know a lot of people don't don't think that way. A lot of people have a different sort of connection to football manager. Anyway, here we are. We're going to play Real, Real Sporting. Real Sporting. Um, Sociedad, is it not? Oh, no, it's... Oh, I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. Real Sporting de Ijan. And they are... Are they... And I always get this fucking wrong, don't I? Catalan team. Are they Catalan team? Catalan, Catalan, Catalan. Where are you? Where is this? Gijon? 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 I'm pretty sure... Now, I've said this before and they weren't a Catalan team, but I do have a feeling this is a Catalan team. And apologies if you're watching and you're... Yeah, oh, it doesn't... Maybe not. I don't know. Fierce, let's have a look at the rivals. So it's going to be a fucking Seville team, aren't they, again? Um, of course, that's one of their rivals. Real Valladolid. Vall Valladolid. That's right, isn't it? Valladolid. Valladolid. Deportivo. Sevilla. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say, actually, they're not. <laughs> I'm going to say they're not a Catalan team. I don't know why I fucking think every every team's a Catalan team. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Right, let's, let's sort this out. Werner's in there. Why is he in there? He shouldn't be in there because he can't play. Did we... Although, well, hang on. Currently not registered, although eligible for the next fixture, providing he's registered in time. No, we can't. We can't do that. We could put our black on the bench. Hmm. I could take a risk and put our black on the bench. It's fucking dangerous, because if we have to play him... And I always get the feeling that FM fucking fucks you in that kind of situation. They, they, they take... Liberties. And they just fucking... They do something... They'll do something to injure my goalkeeper now so that he has to come on because they know I'm in a shit situation. Anyway, let's swap Arias out for Trippier for this game. Uh, let's put... Who have we got down here that we haven't played? Chao Enrique. We could give him a game, actually. Let's give him a game. Let's get Arias off there. Let's put Lodi on the bench. Chao Enrique, and he's more of a... He's more of a... Com I think he's more of a complete wing-back, actually, but... Him like that, wing back attack. Torres, we don't miss. Yeah, let's fucking fuck it. Let's give Torres another game as well. Uh, Koke Saul can stay there. In fact, let's have a look at the high injury risk. Jeremy Riquet's high injury risk. That's a bit of a worry. But it's good to give him some game time. And, you know, at the end of the day, he's only going to improve with game time. So I'm okay with that. Um, we'll just we'll just stay the same. These are not these should not be a worry. So let's just stay the same and go for this. Right. The threat of Martin Braithwaite is real. Um, this time I'm going to fucking say. already never works. I can't be bothered with the fucking team team talks. It's a load of shit. It's not a load of shit. Like, I see how it adds to it, but, like, the amount of times it just makes no difference. I, I wish there was more you could do in that situation. Here's Lamar. First goal. Oh, is that a penalty? It's got to be. Come on. Costa. Is it Costa? Yeah, Diego Costa. Here we go. Goal. 1-0. 3 minutes, 30 seconds. This is it. Back to winning ways now. Computer fans not doing great. Oh, that was a good penalty, wasn't it? Was that in off the post? Costa and his goal tally keeps going up. Zebu Nation says, I expect much better effort in the second half. Go, if they do a better effort than this, then that'll be good. 
Actually, we've only had two shots, so. I'm just going to retweet my own tweet quickly to get people to respond. In fact, no, I'll wait till half time and then I'll write a new one. We'll write a new one together, shall we? Got it ready, got it ready to open. This is the perfect use of like the brand new iPad Pro, isn't it? To <laughs> tweet as you play in Football Manager. Got it today. I'm excited to play with it, actually. But then this, fuck it, I've got to do this shit. <laughs> got to do this shit for you fucking what's it isolators shit they've got a penalty maxi gomez save it oh adan this is i keep wanting to call him adnan like adnan saeed uh, yep yeah. fuck this if we lose this we're in deep shit if we lose this it's simply not good enough I mean, I always do say that when we lose games, but this really, really is not good enough if we lose this. Braithwaite, Perez, Mendez. They're looking quite comfortable, but there's Costa. He's away. Come on, Costa. You got a man across there. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? You had a man. Fuck my life. Ah. <sighs> Forty minutes. We've had seven shots to one, so you know we are doing better, but still we've had less possession. I think it must be our counter attacking. Let's go attacking quickly. Quickly, quickly. Can we do it just before half time? Will it make any difference? No. Will it fuck? Right, let's let's send that tweet. Just get get into the dressing room so it's not fucking doing a load of shit. Okay, so the tweet, let's compose this tweet. Um still live. Still live. Um, send me your questions, thoughts, feelings, worries, problems, concerns, issues. Now. Oh, I should. Now. Thanks to everyone who has responded so far have replied to all um, hashtag FM 20 hashtag fake stream which is like not even not even spent any time trying to make work but there we go shall I put a gif let's put a little gif uh, Paul Merson that'll do <laughs> There we go, just so you can see it. Oh, fuck, I lost my pen. There you go. There's the tweet, ready to go live. I don't even know if you can see that. Probably not. Go. Let's get this show on the road. Right, so expect a, a flutter of... Um, a flurry of responses right now. Assistant, take it. End of team talk. I think we'll get through this match, and then I'll try and get another one in quickly. A couple of replies coming in. Which has been your favourite football manager slash championship manager? Which did you enjoy the most from Joe Butters? Um, I'll answer that one after this after this game. And then Dan Gear, is that Jim Exotic or Joe Exotic? Very similar, very similar facial structures, cheekbones, you know, personalities. I'm very vengeful. Oh, goodness me, Correa scored. There we go. If you haven't seen... Uh, that tiger thing, whatever it's called on Netflix, it's quite good. I watched kind of, I kind of semi watched it, semi, I semi watched it. Well, my wife pretty much watched it all, and I kind of semi watched it while I was sort of making, making a bit of music on my machine. Yeah, there we go. But it was good. It's definitely worth watching. And Joe Exotic, if anyone, is Dan Gear. That's for sure. You can imagine Dan Gear with a tiger, can't you? A liger. Probably more of a liger guy, actually. You can imagine him artificially inseminating a, <laughs> a liger. P 
putting his glove on, getting in there. Anyway, we're 64 minutes into this game. 2-1. It's looking looking okay. Thir we, we were on 13 shots. We're now on 14, 15. 13 is my lucky number. Oh, I got some more. Oh, that's a good question from from Matt FM Trek Artista. It's a good question. We'll get to that after this after this game because it is something that needs to be thought about. Seventy eight minutes, eighty minutes. Come on, let's end this game with a win quickly. And this is the thing about this save as well is that I find myself in this situation quite a lot where I feel fairly comfortable in a game, and get his fucking score, aren't they? Don't say don't say things like that. I feel fairly comfortable in a game and and then it's just like you're waiting for the game to end basically which is a little bit annoying I, I like that in about the kind of lower league saves you don't really get that as much whereas with a big team like Atleti you do find there are just games that are kind of formalities really <laughs> they are going to score now aren't they after saying that don't score now make me look a dick I already look a dick, but here we go. Dia But a oh god god. That would have made me look stupid, wouldn't it? Shit, I need to make some subs. I'm not concentrating. I know he was just about to take a free kick, I'm sorry. Here we go. Lamar's coming off for Moyeco. We'll give him a bit of a run out. Who's knackered? I mean Enrique should probably come off for Lodi. And then these two are both on yellows. Mm. But I don't have a central defender, so that'll do for now. Lamar, last kick of the game. For him, probably. Djurjevic. Career challenges. Oh, shit, fuck. Okay. Good. Some good questions coming in. Another good one from, from Trek there. Uh, I'll get to these after the game. This is going to be a long video, isn't it? I don't know. I, I'm I'm really not sure how this is going to go down because it's like, is anyone really going to just watch me chatting shit for an hour? It's going to be boring as shit. Muyejo. This guy, I am impressed with him. I've played him a couple of times. He's come on and he's done some fucking good stuff. He's not very big, but he's he gets in good positions. He's got a good... Uh, not first touch, and he said first touch. He's got good... What's he got good? It's not finishing. He's like, he's good at vision. It's probably his vision is the good thing. Something about him, and I can't quite work out what it is. It's probably like passing and vision combined or something. He seems to see stuff and know where players are. And he's he's he's, a, he's not um, a selfish player. He's really good at kind of getting past people and laying the ball off to someone else. And here comes Costa... Morata must be another one. No, it's not. But we're on 91 minutes now of 94, so should be sewn up and in the bag. Yeah, Mayako is one to watch, definitely. I'm, I'm liking the look of him. 3-1, done. Bang. Dressing room. I'll say... Calm. Well done, lads. Give it to the assistant and team talk. Let's go. Right, so... That means now we're, st we're still in fourth position because it looks like Real won still... Valencia, Valencia, oh yeah, Val yeah, Valencia d definitely did win, 5-0, um, can't see the wood for the trees, uh, Sevilla haven't played yet, Barcelona, what did they do, I can't even fucking see anything, there you go, 2-0, so yeah, all the teams in and around us won, so that didn't really help, I'm going to send the assistant to that, so other questions that I've got that I need to answer here, um, Butters, Joe Butters again said, um, which has been your favourite football manager, championship manager, and which did you enjoy the most? 2008. 2000... And it's not, and it's not because of anything specific about that. I just remember 2008 having a good save, and that was the Palermo save, I think, um, that, I've met, that I mentioned previously. Uh, what else was there? I really like the last the last two actually this one and and the last one um I'm going to deal with that shit later off 
off camera i think this contract i can't be bothered to go through that um but yeah it's like i i always like every every version I, in fact you know what i really liked fm18 i found fm18 like almost like the difficulty level was higher for some reason than 19 seemed a little bit easier than 18 and it could have just been the team i was i mean there's no way to really assess whether it's easier or not but fm18 seemed to have a, a certain difficulty level to it that that was um i struggled with Verda Bremen and i enjoyed that struggle actually so that was that was a good one um but yeah like the late the latest two and 2000 and 2008 were pretty good as well um but also i really like the old championship manager as well and that was like i used to go around my mate's house and we'd just play it like f what was it like to, uh championship manager two um 2096 or something like that um and that was that was great and we'd just always be stoked and it would be like he'd be the manager i don't know why he was always the manager not me he'd be the manager and i'd always be the assistant manager thinking about it now maybe yeah <laughs> maybe he was onto something there but yeah he'd always be the manager he was probably just a more forceful character than me uh, and i'd just be the assistant manager but i was good at manipulating him to do what i needed him to do so i'd get him to sign rule fox for example um and all these other players I and mean, you know we, we always did quite well with stoke and got stoke out of the lower divisions and yeah just it was always stoke though every time um but that was yeah used to used to enjoy that um okay so team advice we'll just have so felipe Jimenez. yeah we'll I'm fine with that okay Jeman burgos we never really talk about him do we he is my assistant manager and you will know him in real life a big big character for atleti and he knows his shit. <laughs> he really does know his shit in real life as well as in the game. And a lot of the shit that he says in here, I do I do trust. And I always have a weird relationship with assistant managers in general because I kind of feel a bit like, well, they give advice and they say stuff and you don't always want to take that advice. But in his case, when he offers advice, generally it seems to be pretty good. So I do kind of listen to him a decent amount of the time. So... That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> let's move. Let's move on. Just thought I'd give him a little bit of credit, um, seeing as I'm I'm the perpetual assistant manager of championship manager. Yes. So, oh, Saul, more suited to a deep lying playmaker. You say, Saul? Why is everyone always questioning me on Saul? Okay, let's try that then. If you want, fine. There you go. Um, another question here. Yeah, now this is a good one from Trek. I'm going to have to continue um, at the same time as answering this because it's not an easy one to answer. He says, what are you going to do regarding Felix in the summer? So João Felix is a huge, huge investment for this club. Got blisters, fuck off. <laughs> Pau Torres has got blisters. Okay, but yeah, João Felix is, was a huge, huge investment for this club. And the problem I'm finding is, and I'll have to assess how Costa and um, Morata are doing by the end of the season. The reason that my formation works at the moment, the reason that this 4-4-2 is working, especially up front, is that with these two strikers, we've got two strikers doing very different, or doing slightly different things up front. So when we get to this screen, you'll see in a minute. Let's have a look at the team selection. So we've got Costa pressing forward support. So he's dropping back. He's collecting the ball. He's he's hassling people. He's doing what what Costa does basically. Um, I'm just going to change this while I while I see it there. I'm just going to get Herrera in there. So, uh, but Felix isn't that kind of player. He's kind of a creative attacking midfielder ideally. I don't really like to play him up front. He can he can do it, but he's not... Where's his strength? Uh, what am I looking at? Strength, eight. He's not very strong. Um, Like, I didn't actually know his strength was eight then. I just know he's not strong from watching him play. His strength isn't that great. His aggression is okay. It's not brilliant. Bravery. He's not... He's nowhere near the same kind of player as, as Costa. Then you've got Murata, um, playing as a as a complete forward on attack and Morata again now Morata's got 12 strength again he's not quite I mean Costa what the fuck's Costa he's probably like 100 
15. I thought it would have been stronger than that. But yeah, he's not the same kind of player as Morata either. He's one of these like <laughs> plinky plonky. I don't know how to explain it. He's a flair player. He's a player that needs time and space um, on the ball. And if he gets time and space on the ball, you're dead. The problem is with the way that we play and the way that La Liga is, he doesn't get, he's not going to get time and space on the ball. I've played him occasionally as a winger. He can do it because he's a very skillful, talented player, but it's not right for him. So in terms of what to do about him, let me just check I'm all right with this and just go ahead and go. Let's just get into the game. So in terms of what to do with him, I really don't know because it would it to fit him in, it would mean dropping one of either Costa or Morata. And I don't really want to do that. If if any, it's probably gonna to have to be Costa. But if we do drop Costa, then I need a replacement who does a similar thing. And and Felix can't do that. So yeah. It's a difficult one. It would mean a change in the formation. It would probably mean having three here, you know, having like a, a little triangle there and playing Felix just in behind them, which is doable. But then it means playing without wingers, probably playing like a three in the middle or something like that. And then, oof. And then we've got people like, we've got Lamar and Correa. So, you know, you can't, I can't get rid of Lamar. And if Lamar wasn't playing on the wing, he'd be playing where Felix is playing. So it's all just a big, it's a big saga. I could probably get a decent amount of money for Lamar now. But to be honest, I don't really want to sell him. He's been, he's been good. Apart from that fucking shit kick up someone's arse. So yeah, basically, <laughs> the answer to that track is I don't fucking know. It's, it's a tough one. Because sooner or later, he's going to get pissed off. The, the saving grace of it all is that he's young. So he might not get pissed off as quickly. Anyway, here's Mina. To Sisto, Matic. Trek has got another good question, by the way, in a second. I'll get on to that after this. Dalbert. Mina scores. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Dalbert. Quick tweet. Last 15 minutes. Last 15 minutes of hashtag fake stream. Get your tweets in. I can see something happening about the corner of my eye. It's nothing good. Coke. Saul. Murata. Costa. Costa back to Felipe. Oh, Adan, you dangerous bastard. Fucking hell. If that was our black, I wouldn't have been so worried, but here goes Lamar. Oh! Right, time for a little get creative shout. I always find get creative works as a shout in this version of FM. It's not so much a hack, but, you know, I do, I do find that that works. 24 minutes. They've had... Well, I mean, we should be winning this. Come on, there's still time. There's still time. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go attacking before half-time, I think. So, if we're not winning... Or, sorry, if we haven't scored a goal by about 35 minutes, I'm going to go attacking for the end, for the last 10 minutes. Here's Adan. Felipe... Saul, good ball. Here's Lamar. Take these round his man. Gets it. Morata's got to be. Yes, it is. Ninth goal of the season. See Morata and Costa together. Morata's got nine goals. Costa's got like what's he got now? Eleven, twelve, something like that. And we're nineteen, nineteen, twenty games in. So, I mean, you know, Felix might get more than that, but. When you've got two players that are playing well up front, it seems silly to, to change them just for the sake of trying to fit a wonder kid in. Cause there's no there's no there's no guarantee that he's actually gonna perform. He's been good, you know, but he's not been amazing. 
or he's, or he's been as good as them, put it that way. He's not been better than them to in, to justify a spot ahead of them. Come on, let's get the banana in. Get that fucking banana eating. This is going to be some ASM, AMS, ASMR, R? AMSR, ASMR. I don't. I never know which way round that is. Audio. What is it? Audio sensory. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Audio sensory mouth. Reaction. <laughs> no. What am I doing? Hang on. I'm just going to stop this recording and start again. Don't mean stop and start again. I mean I have to keep stopping it every so often because I don't want to just create one massive long file. Why am I telling you this? Oh, that's a bit ripe. Uh, unripe. I should have muted the mic. This is going to sound really disgusting. Sorry. If you are into a a m a s m r, then it'll probably sound great. But if you're not, it'll probably sound absolutely fucking disgusting. Sorry about that. In fact, I'm not. I'm not going to eat it anymore. I'm not going to eat it. Banana and a beer. That's the way I roll. One all. Come on, let's get on with this now. Let's get another. Get creative. I might need to think about substituting someone here. We have got Correa's not doing great. Costa's not doing great. Now here we go. Now's the chance for Felix to come on. We'll swap them round so that because Maratta's a little bit better at pressing forward. Um, uh, Felix, do we want him as a complete? I don't know if I want him as a complete forward. Maybe just a, in fact, it was Trek that asked the question. Let's go for it. Let's make him a Trek artista. Let's see how that goes. Shit, I dropped my pen. Okay, Dan Gear, who's been the biggest flop so far in this save for you? Um, not so much a flop, but I think it's been Partey, Thomas Partey, and it's because I was really excited about managing him, and he never really shone. And I think I think the thing is, you know, when you've got two in central mid midfield there, and you've got we've got Saul Koke. Nothing's happening here, is it? Uh, we've got Saul Koke. I'm going to go attacking. Uh, Hermoso, Llorente and Partey, it's just hard to fit Partey into the team. So it's not so much he's been a flop, it's just that he's not featured as much as I thought he probably would. Um, and then uh, Frank Lampard, a.k.a. Brazier, or Brazier, Brazier, Brazier? Oh, Brazier, FM. Is this fake stream because your family have already abandoned you after three days of quarantine? Well, actually, we've been in quarantine for like, two weeks because um my son had tonsillitis a couple of weeks ago and then he got another virus straight after that not not the virus but he got another virus after that in fact i'm talking too much pause he got another virus just after that i need to pause this because we're about to get we're about to have a one all draw which would be pretty shit so i'll just finish this story and then continue he had another virus after that then i got tonsillitis and Oh, it, it, my daughter then got ill as well so yeah everybody's been ill for fucking ages and it's all just been easier to to stay off and actually what that's meant is now we've been off for two weeks already and i'm absolutely destroyed um yeah so what can i do about this i get creative again right push forward team instructions we're gonna have to go we're gonna have to go for a win i like to do this i do this too much it's like i have these things that are just like in uh, not instincts what is it like um reflexes that i go to and i probably should try and get out of these habits but i can't help it so it's like it's all the usual things push your fucking line of engagement up long kicks fucking shoot on sight stick all this up high and hope for the best let's see what happens there um i could also make a sub and I will make a sub right now. Um, oh, we got a couple of tight players. Let's get Koke off for Llorente. Let's get Partey on as well. We've been speaking about him. Maybe he can make a difference. Um, he's fine like that. He's fine as a DLP. On def I should probably put him on support. I don't want to go too attacking because we're going to lose. 
Tornico 2 attacking. Look at this. Attack, 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 attack. I do want to fucking go attacking, don't I? Come on, let's go. And I'm on attacking. I want to go very attacking, in fact. They're going to score now. Hermoso. Murata. But then if I get a goal, I'm a genius. Partey. Felipe. Come on. Partey to Felix, and then there you go. Come on, let's make this a decent fucking sh fake stream. Lobok, uh... Llorente! He's away! Come on! Funny ball, but okay. Correa! Spoons it. Miles away. Pfft, fuck's sake, that was shit, wasn't it? So there we go. Um, aggressive. Uh, that's not really aggressive, is it? But there we go. Right, that's not good. I'm gonna I'm gonna send the assistant. What's Pochettino doing? Who are you? Fuck off! You're not going anywhere near Thomas Lamar, you bastard. Right, let's have a look at La Liga. How's that changed things? Well, it could. Yeah, we could. Could have quite a big effect on us actually, depending on what happens with Barcelona and Real Sociedad. Should we just go? For, let's just have a look and see what happens with them quickly, and then. Then we'll end this fucking shit, shit house of a stream. <laughs> this fake stream. Uh, so we don't want Barcelona to win, obviously. And they have done. And who was the other one? Uh, Sociedad. We don't want Sociedad to win. Oh, took me a while to see that. Okay, so that knocks us down to sixth. But we can still come back for that. That's fine. So there we go. That's the end of this uh, coronavirus-sponsored uh, lock-in type stream thing. Thanks to everybody who's responded on Twitter. Much appreciated. Um, it's a bit of a weird thing, but I wanted to do something so I could get a video up there and, um, you know, not have to go through all the hassle of editing it and so on. So it's not going to be quite as, like, action-packed and snappy kind of edits as my normal films, but hopefully this is this is one for the hardcore, um, the hardcore viewer of my channel. If you can sit through this long of me, then, you know, you're doing well. You might get a few unsubscribes from this, actually. You never know. Um, hopefully not, and hopefully you've enjoyed it, and hopefully it's helped you a little bit in the time of boredom and despair that we all find ourselves in now especially if you've got kids if you've got kids oh god please i hope this has helped you in some way it, it's probably helped you fall asleep um but yeah hope you enjoyed it and i'll be back soon hopefully with another let's just have a look at the schedule with another we'll probably go back for olympiacos i reckon uh so yeah see you next time